What's going on, guys? I'm Jace. And I'm Josh. And we have another death battle reaction for you guys today. Ken versus Terry. I know nothing about these characters. I don't really know much either. All I know, first we got Ken. Ken, Ken from, from Street Fighter. And Terry from King of Fighters. Those names are awfully similar. Right, right. They're both blonde. Right. Why do people want them to fight so much? What, what do they have? That, <clears throat> whenever they want people to fight like this, it's because they have like a lot of similarities or something. I guess we'll find out. All right. Want to know? This is, if I remember correctly about Terry, he was like from a young, something, I think it was from a young age. I don't know, no, some event happened and he started like just dedicating like, his dedicating parents his died. life. His parents died. Something like, I don't even know if that's it for sure. This is what I heard about Terry. Something happened and he instead, instead of doing whatever normal people do, he started like bodybuilding or something like that and he learned as many uh, martial arts as he possibly could. Like, Jiu-Jitsu, Kung Fu, Taekwondo, stuff, stuff like that. Krav Maga. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, that too. Okay. That's what I think. I know he like spent it learning a bunch of different uh, art uh, combat. Sounds like Batman. <laughs> uh, I So in Street Fighter, where Ken is from, there's Ryu, right? Yeah. That, and Ryu that, has like that, the, sure you can. What, is, what does Ken have? They're Hadouken. He's the had he's the Hadouken. No, they're both the, they both use Hadouken. They both use Hadouken. He and they both go. use your Shoryuken. They both use the same thing. They're hey, different. Hey Jace, ask me if he can lose. Yes, he can. He's like sure, sure you can. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get it on with this. Let's do this. Ken versus Terry. Analysis time. I might lose. <sighs> Ten. Ten. 10. 16. 16. <laughs> you better be 10. <laughs> hey, Wiz. What has blonde hair, wears red, and fights like hell? Uh, today's fighters? <laughs> oh, you guessed it. Ken Masters, the street fighting family man. And Terry Bogard, the orphan turned king of fighters. Orphan? Did his parents die like I called it? It's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. That's some really good 8-bit. As the son of a rich hotel tycoon, young Ken Masters wanted for nothing. Stupid rich kids, why don't their parents ever teach them any real value? Like squirrel cooking or how to throw a punch. Well, turns out Ken's an exception. Eager to Wait, is there a live action? Discipline, his father sent him to Japan probably just some sort of trailer for the arts. game. Yeah, um, turns out Ken's dad uh, was buddies with the master karate hermit, Gokin, who Ken trained under for a decade, alongside a young warrior named Ryu. Under Gokin's eye, Ken was taught the ways of the Ansatsuken, or Assassination Fist, albeit Gokin's own non-lethal variant. Mm. He learned techniques like the blast of key energy known as the Hadoken, and also the Tatsumaki Seppukaka. Tatsumaki Seppukaka. He gave up. Also known as the Hurricane Kick, a spinning kick that leaves oh! Ken's reeling. Oh! Looks so cool in live action. Getting past projectiles. But the move he excels at the most oh. is the Dragon Fist. The Shoryuken! It's a devastating rising uppercut, and Ken's so damn good at it, he can set his whole damn fist on fire. Oh shit! At his fire! Best, Whoa, fire! The Shinryu, oh! Or divine dragon fist. Not only is this attack engulfed in flame, it also creates a vacuum effect, drawing opponents in for multiple strikes. Oh wow! The Shinryuken is the most powerful natural form of the Shoryuken technique. Well, so long as you're not possessed by evil murder energy, but you should watch Ryu vs. Scorpion to learn all about that. With his oh, we training watch complete, it. Ken returned to it. America, proving his new discipline and kickassery by winning several fighting tournaments. Including the premier U.S. martial arts tournament, where he won the finals and met his future wife, Eliza. Ho ho ho! That is certainly what I would call a win. Proud of his victories, Ken returned to Gokin's dojo to tell his former master the good news. But he got there a little too late. <gasps> Dang, missed out on all is that his blood? That is After fucked up. After meeting up with Ryu to mourn their master's apparent death, Ken decided to enter the prestigious World Warrior yeah. tournaments just for the chance to fight Ryu again. But Ken's always fighting, both in and out of tournaments. He takes on anything from crime lords oh, to professional wow. assassins. And he's strong enough to send a man flying 15 feet in the air with a single punch. The force of which would definitely kill an average person, which Ken is anything but. 
He is strong enough to beat the Dictator Bison with Ryu, and he's fast enough to dodge attacks from Akuma, one of the most powerful characters in the Street Fighter universe. Wow. Then there was his cage match Wait. against the Claw. Okay, I thought that was. I Very saw those claws so and I thought it was Wolverine for a second. the guy's momentum after he leaped from the ceiling. Doing so after losing tons of blood from dozens of lacerations, and with both of his feet broken and impaled. Uh, Considering much of a person's uh, force comes from the lower half of a person's body, this is practically unbelievable. Talk about endurance. Mm. I can see how he got his wife. The guy's tough uh, enough to fall over 100 feet into the mud, and then just get up more pissed than anything else. But when it comes down to it, Ken's strongest asset is his conviction to win only made stronger when it comes to defending his friends. Though he is pretty cocky, if he's feeling good about a fight, he'll sometimes just laugh at his opponents instead of finishing them off, leaving himself wide open. Still, if you enter the ring with Ken Masters, chances are you're gonna get burned. Oh! Come on, let's turn up the heat. Damn. Harry Bogard was born with nothing to his name. Hell, he didn't even have a last name. Stranded with his brother Andy, Terry grew up an orphan on the dangerous streets of South Town. Until they were adopted by Jeff Bogard, who immediately introduced them to a regiment of bonding and kicking ass. Now cool. that's a good dad. Well, until he got murdered. Oh, when he was only parents died. years old, Terry and Andy watched helplessly as their foster father was murdered before their eyes by Geese Howard. A notorious Is that what you were talking about? Swearing vengeance, the brothers spent the I said it was something like that. One day take down geese. Different than his foster parents. Will ever do to him. No, not not birds. Geese, geese Howard, the bad guy. Is that geese? I know you're not a poacher. Probably not the same guy. Holder like myself, but you sure. should know that the singular term for geese is goose. It's just common sense. Uh, let's just move on. As the years went by, Terry oh, became an go. exceptional martial artist, mastering boxing, karate, kung fu, and kickboxing. He developed an impressive list of techniques, like the burn knuckle, a fierce punch surrounded by energy. And the crack shoot, a jumping axe kick. Or he can just punch the ground so freaking hard he makes a power wave, where he sends a deadly wave of energy through the oh, earth shit. towards whatever poor bastard he's fighting. But wow. even after learning all of these, Terry knew he would need more to defeat Geese. Goose. No. Oh, so man. he sought out his foster father's old master, who taught him the secret technique of the Hakyoku Seiken. Is he flying? Part of the eighth extremity's holy fist. Holy fist, huh? Is that like punching the Jesus into people or something? <laughs> no, but he is punching with the power of Earth. Fire, wind, water, heart, go, Terry! Okay, so oh, for God's sake, sake, Captain Planet. <laughs> anyway, with Hakyoku Seiken, Terry can literally pull and channel energy from the Earth beneath his feet. And wow. with the Earth's Chi, he can enhance his attacks to extreme level. Like turning his ordinary power wave into the monstrously titanic Power Geyser. Apart from oh. that, his Buster Wolf Punch puts his burn <sighs> knuckle to shame. And with the star dunk volcano, he slams his foes down in a fiery explosion. So when Terry was ready to take Geese down, he figured what better way than in the worldwide tourney Geese himself was hosting, the King of Fighters Tournament. And in the end, he most certainly got his revenge in a battle which was apparently so intense, its spectators compared it to a fight between starving wolves, earning Terry wow. the nickname, the Legendary Hungry Wolf. That's a nice. badass nickname. Although it turns out Terry didn't kill Geese hard enough, so he got to do it a second time. Not that Terry was too weak or anything. For example, in his fight with Jamin, he took a huge explosion in the back, got a car thrown at him, jumped up an elevator shaft as it was blowing up, got what? blasted in the face with a wall of fire which smashed him into a concrete wall, and answered by power geysering so hard he wrecked the factory he was standing on. What? He bled everywhere. But then this chick made him better with a good old stripping cuddle. <clears throat> what? That guy what? Jammed, what? He's fast enough to catch bullets. And strong enough to shoot them back. With his fingers. Are you sh- Not good That is- That is- That is ridiculously awesome. From six falling eye beams by smashing them one by one in midair. Keep in mind, wow. a single eye beam is designed to support over 3,000 pounds of pressure. And he took care of it so fast, the would-be victim didn't even notice. It's a bit of a shame, then, that at his worst, Terry's a pretty sore loser. 
Even though his willpower is enough to match the power of Mars, the god of war, an unexpected failure can okay. still really shake him up. What? But when Terry Bogart sets his mind to something, he'd rather bleed out than walk away. That's the way that's the same way of doing it, just keep screaming. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, Wiz has got something to tell you about saving time and eating food, so what's not to Food? Oh. You don't want to hear that? Alright, uh, whatever. Uh, Alright, where do you stand? I feel like Terry is like a lot more powerful. Me too, I feel more... I'm leaning more towards Terry. Not, yeah. I was leaning towards him initially. I wanted him to win, but I didn't really know anything about Ken. But I'm still leaning towards Terry. I mean, they just they gave a huge list of all the terrible things he endured, and then like punched. Then he didn't he like destroy. He punched the ground and like destroyed the top of the building or something. Yeah, he is. What was that? Power geyser. I don't know. That's what they called it, I believe. I I, I don't know. I didn't. I missed that part. All right, so we're going for Terry, right? I'm going with Terry. If we're wrong, we slap each other. If we're wrong, we slap each other. All right. Deal. Deal. Stop. Ow. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? All right, let's do this. Right about there. Let's. let's all right, it's time for a death battle! It's time for a death battle! There he goes, he says it. Oh, we're in the cherry blossoms. Oh, kick his ass! Dan Hibiki can't fight worse shit. It's Blanca! Blanca. 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 Fuck you, Blanca, you ate Pikachu, you son of a bitch. Challenge me after some practice. Show me what you're made of. Oh, Ken's got the home field advantage. Here I go. See ya. Oh shit, that was close. Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, what was that? Break dancing? It was a break dance spin move that was crazy. And Dan Hibiki is still in the back, it's busy as fuck. Oh! Take this Burning seriously. nut shot. That was sucks. Oh, he's pissed. Burning fist. Oh, took down the fucking column. Oh, shit. They're destroying the dojo! Oh, fuck. Yeah, everybody run. Yes! What does that mean? Dan and Vicky got fucking murdered. <laughs> Somehow. Oh! Or you can. Sure you can. Oh, he's still tired. <coughs> what is this? He's channeling the energy from the earth. Give me your energy! Oh shit! Punch the ground pound move. Oh shit! They're gonna collide and explode! Oh shit. You're dead. Woo! Woo! We did it. We win. We win. So that was a short battle. Side, this means Eliza's single now, right? Boomstick. <laughs> children and each won their fair wow. share of tournaments however terry's sheer power proved too much for ken to handle outside of tourneys ken's most notable victories were usually only possible because he had help sure ken's taken down zangi fugo and vega multiple times who are extremely deadly in their own right but they aren't nearly as heavy hitters as those on terry's resume like krauser and mars also, keeping up with and surpassing Jameen, who can effortlessly catch bullets, proves Terry can match someone over twice the speed of sound. Much faster wow. than anything Ken's ever shot. That is stupid. Man, it's beautifully this, stupid. He's gonna feel terrible. I don't think it's possible. Oh, that's a possible over. combination. Nice! Have you seen anime, Jays? There is such thing as beautifully stupid. You have to prove me. Just watch prove anime. Me. Watch any anime, actually. 
All right, that was awesome. No one gets slapped that today. A, that was a short. I'm a little disappointed. That was a short battle. Learned more about those two franchises though. So. Yeah, I don't. I never I'm, even. I've actually never heard of King of Fighters before today. I mean, I confu- I did confuse a uh, Zangief. I thought it, they said geese. In about in King of when I talk about King of Fighters, it said the bad guy was named Geese. I thought they was talking about Zangief. Z- Zangief. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. I'm Jace. And I'm Josh. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.